Okay, uh, so basically, right, uh, you need to first of all ensure that your content is uh, you know, well formatted and uh, accurately you know, placed and all that. So this is one of the content you wrote. So I've, though I've did some little touches to it, but basically you need to also optimize it for um, mobile users. You get those are using mobile phones because, for example, now this block of text will be looking too big if you're using mobile phone to view it. So what you do is try and break your text into smaller paragraphs. You get break it into smaller paragraphs. Probably after uh, a very long sentence, you just break it down like that. You get. So this is something that is very necessary across board. You get. So try and break your content into smaller paragraphs. Uh, ensure you, you know, use your uh, grammarly tools and you know, remember our target audience is the US, so set it to US so that your spellings and writings are going to be in the US format. Okay. Uh, so another thing I noticed is you were using uh, this stuff. I don't know why it's being colored, but just let it be normal black. You get going to color it. Then uh, if you notice, check on your outline right here, where my cursor is, you see that your number one here, it's not showing here. And that's because you're using a bullet and a heading together. So normally what you should do is remove the bullet. When you want to write a number beside the heading, when you put your, for example, one full stop space, it has turned to a bullet, you have to press your control Z. You get so that it becomes normal as a heading. You get okay, so that part is okay. So let's break this part again to so smaller paragraphs. Uh, this guy has to go down, okay? So this is my H3, correct? Uh, this guy is a heading H4, okay? Very good. Uh, let's break this guy to a paragraph as well, okay? This one as well, okay? So basically, this is what you just do across board. Then uh, this might take a little time, so I will probably just skip it for now. Already, you know what I mean by breaking your text into smaller paragraphs. This space is too big, as yeah. Okay, so when you are done, you know, break it into smaller paragraphs and all that. You are done with the formatting. Check spellings of your content. Check everything you get. Make sure that your spellings and everything is okay. Your punctuation, your comma, your full stop, check that everything is perfect as well. So, when you're done checking all these things and you're saying, and you see that, okay, yeah, structural wise, your content is you know good to go and all that. You get the next thing you have to do is one of the most important things that has to do with content optimization, and that's what we call link insertion. So, you are going to insert links across your content. So now all the online certain links, you need to uh, go through the contents on the website, link them to contents, link them to anchor text you have in this place. I don't know why this guy is blue as well. Okay, so let's make it black. It's supposed to be. Okay, so uh, this guy looks jam-packed. He ought to be bullet. So let's just make this guy bullet. So all these structural changes are very, very important because the uh, majority of our users, majority of users are mobile users. You get the mobile users. So you need to make sure that your site, your content is optimized for uh, mobile users. So let me uh, try and add the bullet in this part. Let's use this guy. Okay, that's good to go. Uh, what else? What else? What else? So, this is what H3. Uh, so, remember, like I said, all your headings, first letters should be capital. Very, very important. Make sure that all your headings, the first letters are capital. Good. Okay. So, these guys are to bullets. These guys are to bullets. These guys are to bullets. Scenarios where you might not use bullets, but not in this kind of scenario, due to the fact that if you don't use bullets for these guys, they are going to look very, very rough. Because when publish the content, it's going to look very rough. So that is why you need to use bullets. OK. 
okay so uh, I think I will stop here uh, I can pay it and make this guy this letter capital with my command text capitalization that's the case good so you already know what to do I'm going to uh, you know keep repeating the same thing so let's make all these corrections I've talked about spellings you know US spelling or UK spelling you get uh, then uh, okay change uh, to American okay let's break this guy down let's also break this guy down okay so now when I'm done with the structural changes right the next thing you have to do is link link in your content right so now how do you go about it so I've gone through this content before, I just like glanced through it. So I noticed some things that you know, we've written about before. So let me first of all open the website. So I open the website, please go through the search. Do not type the URL. I just search for the name like this. Then from there you can enter into the site. You get. Okay. So we have a lot of content on agents. Right, so let me just control F. Let me search for agent. Okay, so we have real estate agents right here. We have real estate lawyer. Okay, we have mortgage. So I'm just looking at words that we can link to, right? So we have agents in so many places, which is very good. Okay, let me see if we have agency. Okay, I think we do have agencies. Good. So when I open the site. I even know it's taking some to it. It looks very fast normally. Okay. So this is the site, uh, still loading. Okay, that's good. So now I will search for, let me just search for what I need. I'm looking for a content that talks about agents or agency. Let me see, I search for agents. Agency, okay, not there. So let me just use my search button, right? So using the search button, I can just search for agents. Yeah, let me search for agents. Okay, while it's loading, okay. So now these are top sensitive real estate agents in the world. So this is one, I can just come here, right click copy link address into my content this is real estate agent right i will just highlight it ctrl k ctrl v post it and i press enter so i've linked that guy to a content that is keyword is also real estate agent so i think uh, the other ones again important technique for real estate agents i can still copy this one i look for another real estate agent Okay. Anyone I like. Uh, this guy is actually ask me this guy is supposed to be that's this guy. Okay. So let me just use this guy. So this is trusted real estate agent. I think I have a content. Okay, this is reliable real estate. Okay. Let me just use this. Or better stew, right? Better stew. Since this guy is trusted with the agent and this guy is reliable with the agent, that's similar. So let me just use this here. Right? Trusted with the agent. Enter. Then I come to this other one that I used uh, for it and I'll just change it. And I will use this one. For which let me use this one. Copy the address from here. This is enter. So that's that. Uh, that's that. So I look for other things as well. 
I think I have a content on agency. Yeah, I do. I know I do. I know I do. So let me just search for agencies. The site. Okay, this is the top 20 list agencies in Nigeria. I've copied the link. So let me just search for agencies in my content. Okay, I have it right here. So let me just make this guy do it's supposed to be, which is first letter capital. Okay. Okay, let's put this guy down. This should be real estate agency. Something like that. So let me just highlight real estate agency. Yeah, that's done. Okay, what next, what next, what next? So that's how I just keep you know, going about looking for things that I can actually link to. You get things that I can link to. So I think I'm saying mortgage. I'm saying mortgage. So let me just search for mortgage. Remember that these are keywords of the content. You get these are keywords of the content, and that's why I'm using them. Not just because the names are similar, but it's actually the keyword. So this is how can mortgage banks help you become a landlord? So let me search for let me search for mortgage. Let me look for on that okay one page lender in that works okay, let me see what i'm going to get that one okay 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 this is mortgage loan i think i'll prefer to use mortgage loan to get so I can try to just link this guy since this is no more big ones. I can try to use this guy. That's it, that's it, get. So I keep searching for what says that I can link to. Let me see if I have something like document. Okay, this is property document. This guy, you can see it's property document. I have a content on property document. So let me just search for document here. I have a content that the keyword is even property document. Okay. So this is real estate. This is it, yeah, property document. Even the URL is property document. So I will just come here and I'll link it to this guy. Okay. So that is how you go about it. You get that is how you go about it. So when I'm done with all this stuff, which takes time because I need to link to as many contents on the blog as possible. I think I saw something like markets. Yeah, so real estate market. Okay. So now I have a content, I have so many contents on real estate market. Let me just start from market. Real estate housing market crash, real estate marketing ideas. Yeah, so let me use this guy. So I can still do something if I can't find the exact phrase to use. You get, I can just do something like this maybe around here. Since I said now market, 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 maybe around here, I can just press my enter and I'll say also read any color. And then instead of me to copy the link address, I'll just come and copy the text. Like instead of copy link address, I'll use this copy. So when I click on that copy, I'll come here, I'll paste it. We have it here. So what do I do? I come, I make it normal text. You get so now we have it here like this. Also with right there in between the text. You get so I still have other contents I'm talking about, you know, real estate housing market and all that. So let me see this exactly housing market. Okay, I'm seeing housing market already. So 
well, our some markets here. So I can just use this. So this is actually how we do this stuff. Remember, all your types first letter should be what capital you get. So for the sake of this video being too lengthy, I'm going to stop here. The next one will be when I'll copy this content and I'll take it to uh, WordPress to actually publish it. Okay, this is purchasing houses. So I have content on buy a house. Yeah, buy a house, buy houses in Lagos. So this is buy a house in Lagos. So since yeah, I'm seeing the keyword buy a house, yeah, this is buy a house. I can just use this again. If I also see buy a land, let me see there's land. If there is no land. So I think I also saw purchase, which is still the same thing. Purchase the property. Okay, let me see we have a under buy a house. Okay, this is under buy a house. This is under buy a house. So I have so many buy a house. This is in the buyers for cash and all that. So I can just use this guy and buy us in the future. Which is something as purchase the property. So basically okay, this is semi-detached houses now. Okay. So I think I have a content on semi-detached uh semi-detached uh duplex. Yeah. So I can use that. So this is it, semi detached duplex. So I can just use this. Uh, where is my semi detached again? Semi detached houses. Then this there. So that is simply what you do. So just keep linking and linking and linking. You get this helps the overall growth of the site. So I'm seeing something here, most expensive houses. So I have a content on expensive houses. I know I do. So that's actually expensive. And I'm seeing most expensive cities, most expensive estates. So I can use most expensive estates. I can also use most expensive cities. I don't want to use more. I prefer to use most expensive estates, but it's in our houses. Okay, so I link that guy there. Okay. So uh, this is lawyer. I think I have something about attorney. I think I have something about attorney. I know there's a little difference between attorney and lawyer, but let's see if we can just use it. Uh, okay. Okay, and I don't have, I don't have, I don't have. I don't have. Okay. So basically, that is what you do. I know it's taking time now, which is why I want to stop it. So this guy should be bullet so I to look neat. Remember, I notice I'm using the same type of bullet. That's uniformity. You get that I use you know, 10 different types of bullets in one content. The content has to have a certain degree of uniformity. You get Make sure that your spelling and everything is correct so this is house type i think we have something on types of houses or something like that but there's any one way to confirm let me just search for type let me see if i have type of houses okay so i think i have type, type, type. I think I've been in some of my needs before. I don't know why I can't do it. So another way to actually search for this stuff is you can go to dashboard. When you go to your dashboard, you, you let's see. So why is loading? Let me just keep searching. Okay, and table name, 
homes is also a type of art. I could use it around the, the environment. You know, I have keyword exactly types of houses. I know I do. I know I do. I can just remember what it was. Let me check this category guide. Let me check on that guide. The last houses. Uh, I can't find it. I can't find it. Probably I've not published that content. But now I have a content like that. Okay, so let me just use this guy. Since we're talking about types of houses, modern house, I can use this modern house, I can use a million of rooms, or any type I want to use. So let me just use this guy for now. Okay. So try and go through your contents, get as much values as possible. Make sure you link the content to that site. And then when you're linking to other people's sites, just link to only one person. You notice now this is somebody else's site. This is not my site. This is somebody else's site, right? We are also see. So this is the only external link that is here. But make sure that it is not HTTP. Make sure that it Link is what HTTPS because HTTP is not uh, so it should be HTTP and not HTTP. Because HTTP is unsecured, HTTPS is secure. So take note of that. Okay, so try as much as possible to link. Uh, so let me just see, I saw something I wrote. And I think we will not really, uh, be related. So basically, you're find things that you know, are related. You get phrases that are related to what you are on your site. Once you find those phrases, link to them. You get link to them. When I don't link into them, you'll be happy. It's, 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 it has uh, a very good positive effect to, to the site in terms of SEO as well as very necessary. Okay, so I'll end this video now.